Okay, let us look at this question. The level of water in a school tank decreased by 20% daily. If the capacity of the tank was 1,000 liters, how much water was in the tank after two days? So it means that uh, this tank is losing water 20% every day. So let us begin from the first day. So first day, So the water that was in the tank the first day, that is 100%. So 100% is in the tank today, that is 1,000 liters. So by the end of this day, 20% must have been decreased. So what we do, that is 100% minus 20%, which will give us 80%. So we will ask if 100% is 1,000, what about 80? So that is 80 times 1,000, you divide it by 1,000, 100, sorry. So this one gives us 800 liters. So after one day, 2,200 liters must have been removed. So we will have 800. So let us go to the second day. The second day, our 100% of the water in the tank is 800 liters. So this one represents 100 percent so again water will decrease 20 percent so we will have 100 minus 80 uh, minus 20 which will be 80 percent so we will ask you 80 liter if 800 liters is this what about 80 so it will be 80 times 800 you divide it by a thousand hundred so we will this, this was, and this was. So you will find that 8 times this one is 64. So we will have 840 liters uh, after two days. Let us look at question two. The diagram below is an open cylindrical thin. Evans rubbed a piece of paper on the curved part. What is the area of the paper that was rubbed? So the curved surface area is this part here. So first you need to understand or to know the formula for calculating the curved surface area. Curved surface area of a cylinder, surface area is equal to, or is given by the formula, pi r h or pi d h. It is either you use this one or that one. So let us apply pi. We know it is 22 over 7 times radius. Radius here is 7 because the diameter is 14. So 7 times the height. The height is 20. H is the height, which is 20. So these ones here, here ones. So we will have 4, 4, 0 centimeters square. Even if you use this one, it will give you the same answer. So we say 22 over 7 times, instead of the radius in this case here, we use the diameter. Diameter is 14 times height, which is 20. Here once, here two. So this one is 44. Oh, there was two here. And it is 2 pi r times that. So the first formula is 2 pi rh, and the second one is pi rd. So here we have 2, 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 times that. So this one will be times 2, which will be 8, 80 zero centimeters square. So this one is directly, 7 goes here once, that is 4, 4 times 20. And this one is 80, 80 zero centimeters square. So you can either use 2 pi r h or pi d h. That is the formula for calculating the curved surface area of a cylinder. Our next question is that Viris was paid shilling this one in January. So she was paid 3,000 in January. This was 16% less than what she was paid in February. 
how much was she paid in February? So after being paid 3,000, this amount was 16% less. So if the original was 100%, then 3,000 would be 100 minus 16. So that's the thing you should know. So 100% minus 16. We will have 84 percent. So 84 percent represents 3000. We will ask 100 percent will it be what? So before the decrease, before 16 percent decrease, what was the original amount? So it is other 100 times 3000. We divide by 84. So we can uh, say that uh, 2 year 42, 2 year 15, 2 year 21, 2 year, okay, we can even go 3, 3 here, 7, 3 here, 500, yes, uh, but after 2 year 50 here. So we will have 200 and divided by 7. This one gives us 3571.4 shillings. So this one is the amount that was paid on February. Joseph made shilling this profit after selling some items. If this represented 17% profit, at how much could he have sold the items to make 15% percent profit so so we realize that 17 percent this 17 percent represents this amount of money which is 935 so and that is the profit we can easily get the buying price of that items the buying price buying price is always 100 percent before you get the a profit or a loss. So we can ask 100% will it be what? And this one will give us the buying price of those items. So it is 100 times 935. We divide by 17. As 17 goes here once, here 55. So we realize that the buying price of those items is Kenya shillings, 5,500. So this is the buying price. So it means that for him to make a profit of this one, the selling price is equal 5500. You add the profit, which is 935. And that one gives us 63, 6435. So this is the amount she, she, or he, he chose have sold to get a profit of 935. And this was the buying price, and this one is the selling price. Is, the question is, at how much would he have sold the items to make 15% profit? That one is simple. Now, we know 100% is always the buying price. Buying price is always 100%. So, we'll ask 100% is equal to uh, 5500. For him to make up a profit of 15, so we ask 115% will be what? This is the amount of money, of course, the, cost, the, the, the selling price. And you part a profit here, yeah, 15%. So it is 50, the other one times 5500 over 100. And this one will give us exactly 63.25 shillings. You're sick of me, you're sick of me, I say leave me as well.